Hey guys, Protobar14 here, and today I'm going to talk about the different types of guns. You see, I got four guns here the uh, Tipman 98 Custom, uh, some gun I picked up at the garage sale, which I don't know what it is. I got a Proto SLG and the Auto Tiger SR. Today, the show is going to be mostly uh, spool valve versus poppet valve, the differences, and then sear uh, base guns. So, first off, we will start with the 98 Custom. Move all this aside. The 98 Custom is a sear based gun. And for those of you who don't know, a sear is a metal or plastic object that holds the bolt back until something, uh, solenoid and electronic guns, or the uh, trigger and mechanical guns, pushes it down to let the bolt forward. So, generally, uh, sear, uh, sear type guns are mixed between a spool and a poppet. They have moderate to good accuracy they are loud uh, they are on the louder ends um, but not as loud as a poppet of course um, so the accuracy is okay to good your uh, consistency is on the uh, mid to low end range uh, depending on how much you shoot and uh, what your bore size is and under or overbore all of that technical stuff so, but generally if you have a 6.89 barrel and you're paint 6.89 and you're shooting anywhere from, on this gun, 6 to 8 balls per second, you're going to get a medium, around medium. If you're shooting faster than that, you'll probably get a little lower. Um, the nice thing about sear valve, or uh, sorry, sear based guns is that they have little to no maintenance. Uh, usually it's just, on this is pop the uh, top casing off, clean the bolt off, um, put it back in. Simple as that. Whereas on poppets, you have to uh, lube one more thing, which is a rammer. And we'll get into that later. So um, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, uh, sear based guns, uh, I'd give about a 6. Uh, they're middle of the line everywhere. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is they are cost effective. Efficient. They're usually cheaper guns than uh, spool valves uh, or the uh, poppets. So that's the Tipman 98 Custom that is a sear based gun. This is also a uh, sear based gun, but now this is a uh, spring assisted uh, sear based gun, which is there's a uh, sear right here, and then you have a spring that goes to help push the bolt forward. 98 Customs also. An example of a non sear based uh, spool valve gun would be the SLG. It uses low pressure air to force the uh, bolt back. Whereas on something like this, it would use a spring to push the bolt back. You see? I'm pushing against the spring there. And that also pushes the forward. So, generally the same thing as uh, what I just talked about. Uh, this N90 Customs is actually a uh, spring assisted sear gun. So, that's it. Next up, and I know uh, someone's staying in a shower and we're in the basement, so you're going to hear the water. So, I'm going to talk a little louder. But next up, we have your uh, this is a spool valve gun, but it's a uh, sear based spool valve gun, meaning that it doesn't have any, uh, it doesn't use any springs to return the bolt. It uses a spool valve system but with a sear to hold the bolt back. Now the uh, what's nice about spool valves is they are very gentle on paint. This operates at about 180 PSI or, or lower and this is about 300 PSI. Now coming out of your tank it's of course whatever your tank pressure is it's about 850 is what the regulator puts it down to. So they're very light on paint and with that being said, because they have such a low operating pressure, they are also very quiet and have almost no kick. So that's another good thing about spool valve guns. Um, they're just as accurate as a poppet or a uh, sear based gun, uh, so no need to worry about any of that. Uh, the one downside uh, to the spool valve gun is it is generally very bad efficiency. Now I'll probably get a half of a case of paint off of one 
3,000 fill, which is not good at all. So, and the reason because of that is it uses twice as much air as a poppet would, whereas a pop on a poppet it has a spring to push the bolt back with the poppet and the rammer. This uses air pressure to put it back, so you have air going out and you have air coming back in. So it uses uh, a little bit more air than normal. Um, let's see, any other drawbacks are there is really efficiency is the only thing. Uh, if you're a big person on efficiency, go with a poppet valve because they are uh, top notch in efficiency. But if you like being quiet, more stealthy, maybe a woods ball player, spool valve is the way to go. Next up, we have your poppet. Now, generally, poppets have the quick out, quick in bolt as seen on egos, intimidators, all that good junk. Uh, vices are poppets. Yeah, the quick in, quick out bolt. Um, now what happens here is this bolt is connected to a metal slide right here, which is connected to a poppet, which actually pushes a valve open right about here, which allows the air to go through. So when you pull the trigger, solenoid releases, air pushes through, pushes the poppet forward, the poppet hits a valve, usually some type of dump valve or something like that, pushing air up into the bolt and out. So that's how a uh, poppet valve works. And it also has a spring on the poppet to push it back, to push the bolt back. And, um, and that's why, right here, because the spring isn't activated yet, I can push it back and forth, do whatever I want. Now, the nice thing about poppets are they, they are very efficient. They uh, really no problems efficiency wise. The bad thing is there's just one more thing to lube, which would be your rammer and your poppet. Uh, they are very loud because you have that banging on the dump valve or whatever valve it is. You have that loud bang to open it up, which makes it a lot louder. Um, it also has more kick because you have that bang, but of course if you're going to complain about kicking paintball, you shouldn't be shooting guns anyways compared to like a 12 gauge shotgun, this has no kick at all. So that's one thing you shouldn't be worried about is kick, but um, it has considerable kick in the paintball gun world. Um, other than it being loud and have kick and a little bit more maintenance, you know, poppet veils are just as accurate as... Uh, any other gun, if not more accurate, because you don't have that lube going straight down your barrel as you would a spool valve if you over lube it. Um, so that's why poppet valves are nice. So they're a little bit more accurate, you know, efficiency wise. So definitely if you're playing maybe like a uh, tournament style and you don't have free all day air, go with a poppet to save you money. Now if you do, definitely go with a spool valve. If you like to play woods ball, go with a spool valve. They're quieter, more stealthier, um, but you know you generally see like the egos are poppet valves, the intimidators, the vices. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, you have the uh, mini. That's an internal poppet. You have um, I'm trying to think the uh, clone. The MacDev clone is a poppet. Of course, your egos. Your e -techs. all Planet Eclipse guns except for the Geos are poppets. You have, you know, I think that's it really in the major guns. I know I'm going to be forgetting something. The Vice, that's one. The uh, Revy, that's one. But of course in the spool bed you got the uh, NT, the DM-10, the uh, Droid. You have the G3, G4. Uh, oh, there's one poppet. The FX, Danger Pop FX is a poppet. Uh, and you can just go on and on between the differences. What I like, I like personally the spool valve because I have okay accuracy and I don't like my gun bouncing around everywhere. I also like it's a lot quieter and I get all the air on here so no problem with that. Um, this is Protoballer14. Please subscribe.